<laughs> Yo, what's going on? Don't flop all fucking day. Hashtag DFAFD, hashtag sunburn, all the Twitter shit. You know the score. Make sure you tweet us at don't flop. You can follow me on at Twitter on my personal account. Follow all the rest of the team and all the MCs. All the shit is in the description. Make sure you like facebook.com slash uh, don't flop and don't flop one if you want to be invited to every single don't flop event all around the country. Anyway, this is sunburn. Next battle of the day has been a great day so far. I'm going to introduce the MC on my right hand <coughs> side. Always kills it and don't flop. Always with great performances. Make some noise for Harry Baker. Let's go. <laughs> Harry Baker and on the left hand side, uh, make sure you check in at M Boardy's battle with O'Shea and all his other fucking jokes battles. Make it another classic right now. Make some noise for Big J. Let's go! Yeah. Alright, flipped off camera, it's gonna be Harry Baker Sunburn round number one. Let's go. Alright, I'm back! Who is he? Who's thinking, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> it's not particularly fussed with audience participation this week. <laughs> Alright, who doesn't not think Big J is not the worst battler in this league? See, so what this goes to show us is that thinking flowers don't want to go to shows, but they do the most to operate at quick speeds. You've got that, so slow it that you don't need to slow it down. Down. <laughs> Big J don't come with intelligent buzz. Original top tier predator buzz. You're just funny to look at when they need to make the bill bigger Big J repping than Pelican buzz. Mm. <laughs> That's why you're obsessed with Toucan. <laughs> But see, I'm flyer and quicker, I'm in that peregrine class You can tell by his figure that he ain't never been faster from sports He's actually presenting his class He's the type of brother who would come in everything last <laughs> Type of brother happy coming last in soggy biscuit Because <laughs> <laughs> so it shows he ain't gay And he got a biscuit <laughs> I wouldn't bring my A game, that was optimistic. Even at my worst, I'll beat his best like Bama Lama Cystic. <laughs> <laughs> my last battle was a bit of shit. <laughs> After half a glass, forgot to start my bars against Stowaway. But yeah, out of luck, son, I'm having one of my sober days. I'm so amazing, my mind's a tapestry of labyrinth, so you could so amazing and so amazing. Simba, Lord, forgive me, bitch, don't kill my vibe. You cannot touch the service, so I'm acing, you're slow and basic. <laughs> what I cannot hope to gauge is how you were motivated once to win the sperm and over race. He's overrated. <laughs> For five and they refer to meals and sometimes still gets overrated. <laughs> it is because he's unhappy. And he's unhappy because he eats. <laughs> Did you notice you were overweight before you overrated me? Which came first, day chicken or egg? And all that you've had both today. <laughs> When it comes to stacking chips, it's all about them roast potatoes. <laughs> Jay Ferocious. Whenever he stays at home, they fight to death to sit there. It's the fridge, call it the Hunger Game of Thrones. <laughs> and I know this first verse was like 90% fat jokes. You are 90% fat, though. No. <laughs> the RFW5. He claims his West 1 too. His ass is an East London postcode and a West 1 too. <laughs> And I told myself I wouldn't go in too hard on you and food, but I'm just pissed because you're the reason Sam's chicken stopped doing two for two. <laughs> now when this battle got confirmed, I got an inbox from Sensor telling me that... <laughs> now when this battle got confirmed, I got an inbox from Sensor telling me that Harry Baker got put on the list for a sex offense. And I was like, raw, he probably has a he probably has a gay man face down in his pool like Barrio while hanging about schools with miniature packets of Harry Bow. And if the kid's a little ginger, he's giving it a butterfinger. So you were shit in your last battle. And now you're even more shit. And when Sensor told me you was a nonce, I didn't believe it, but looking at you now. You've definitely got the face for it. <laughs> See, you and Enigma need to be punched straight in the fucking face. That's not my fault. Nonsense. Perverts. Disgusting little pedos. You'll get your long neck capped like the KOTD ho. <laughs> And I bet you got a 13 year old missus. <laughs> I bet Halloween was your favourite holiday because you can hand kids sweets without looking suspicious. <laughs> and, after, and after this, you'll never battle again. 
Cause no one's seen the definition of a body bag So watch as I demonstrate Cause now, I'm a heavyweight I'ma make an MC levitate to heaven's gate You got a job as a kid's entertainer And now I get it mate Got a job as a clown just so you can stick roofies in a little kid's lemonade <laughs> And I didn't even wanna mention this And how the sensor know he's a nonce? Cause he touched up sensors, kids <laughs> But you need to stop sniffing and stop chilling with you nans, Marge. <laughs> now you made a poem about girls called 59, and that's when this theory hit me. In that poem you described girls as numbers, there was 58 and 60. But calling it 59 actually tells us what age girls you touch up. I mean it came clearer for me, cause it started to make sense and add up. Cause if you add 5 and 9, you get ones that are 14. But you, a battle rapper, that ain't fitting to me. You're like Santa the way you ask little kids to come and sit on your knee. And you are an online keyboard warrior. But right now, you'll get slapped in the mouth. And you can even go listen to Mr. 13's last tune cause even he knows what Harry's about. But I'ma end it there, cause I've had enough. Hang on, Harry, 13, 13, Harry. That's just another number related to your name. Poetry slam the drink, what a prick. <laughs> you ready, yeah? The closest you come to fruit is having coconut in a coma. <laughs> If you're zipping up this body, you can't even zip up that body warmer. <laughs> so when Bam offered me this battle, he said it's Big J or Osh. Thought that's cool to write some fat jokes and then spit the same for both. And I'm like, well, Osh is a big name, thinking of use that again. Then again, it's Big J and I haven't won a battle yet. <laughs> Because you couldn't pretend to imagine to come up with stuff that Osh says he might do. Couldn't conceive of bringing an apple to battle because he doesn't like fruit. <laughs> you wouldn't shit on a shark if you sit on a shark, you would split it apart and get a rib in your ass. <laughs> you see, when Osh lost to the champ, it came down to philosophical differences. You ain't bars of a jock, so jokes of a bars, you just shit and don't know what the difference is. <laughs> The day Big J became too old for pick and mix And if being fat and white is gangster blood You ain't as gangster as wizard is <laughs> You got that premium account on ratemypoo.com swagger <laughs> So aside from the fact that he's too fat to see his dick So has to sit and piss The only thing he's only done in his life that isn't shit is a ship. <laughs> so how's about a bigger this? It's Big J. Tries to hide his lack of content by delivering in a big way. What a big waste. What a big waste. <laughs> Cause you ain't big like lift weights. You're big like there's one flight of stairs, but brother, there's a lift weight. <laughs> Salary, big like daily calorie intake. Ain't big like, oh, how does it taste? Big like, oh, how does it taste? Big like holding back on me in case you thought I'd bring something baked. And when you fuck your sister, it ain't in bread, it's in cake. Well, you can call me Big H. And you're gonna take this big L. I got big puns and other people are called big as well. I mean, as if you took the name of Brooklyn's finest and combined it as the only way of describing the talent that he rides with. Biggie J. <laughs> this ain't New York City, mate. You've gone from living in London and battling here to exactly the same thing in just a matter of years. And as fate would have a chase down as appears to have peaked ten of four or five, the perfect time to say goodbye. So say goodbye. <laughs> I'm out of time that you go on for ain't nobody want no encore. Yeah. Time. <laughs> uh, yo, see this round, I'm making a statement. That I can run with any battler in this league, they don't even have to be funny. 
So from now on, you will never see me flop Cause I'm about to body this guy, see? Watch, I'll leave this jeans shocked See I clean admit that I used to be shit But I've always had boys that still spray it in blocks But now, I'm much better cause I think about the stuff that I got Cause I've been so searching like archaic and knocks And you're only here just to make me look good And if anyone told you different, they're giving you false hope Fuck is that? <laughs> But you'll get sparked in this ring leg bent like George Groves. Ah, ah. Oh. Oh. Um, you're getting. Oh, let me start that again. Fuck it now, man. See, you're here just to make me look good. And if anyone told you different, they're giving you false hope. You'll get sparked in this ring, leg bent like George Groves. See, your, your performances are good, but your bars are shit. You need to fix up and stop stunting, cause you're like a miming artist. Cause you got all the right actions, but you ain't saying nothing. Mm. And that's why you will never progress, cause you move slow. Whereas me, I battle rap geeks and penetrate beats. You move like you're walking up the stairs, so how can that work rate elevate me? Mm. I mean, you wanna battle me, then it's over. I'll go in, and my work rate don't stop, my brakes don't work like a faulty toy. Toyota. See, you can't say that I'm shit, because I created my own little fan base. I mean, they love the bars that I hate. See, you think it's comical, you're fit like a hoverboard, but I'm a white savage. But if this is a game, then it's bored over, overboard. My waves catching bodies like the Titanic. And I heard in one of your little poems. Yeah, <laughs> one of your poems. <laughs> you like to blaze a little bit of reef. <laughs> Smoking weed? Well, the shit I'm blazing is deadly. I must have the strongest lighters, cause I burn trees like forest fires and leave half a lefty. So you're about to get bodied, whether or not you let me. Cause we got a score to settle so you can get that 420. And if you keep talking shit, I'll just get my boys to let it spray. See, fuck 420. 420 for me is every day. I like the spliff and get the fire blade right by me. In battles, I'm on my side. Feeling lean on my post, I'm like a scarecrow cause the haze inside me. <laughs> now they say my bars. Now they say my bars ain't funny. And they're for only fools. But yours are shit and not funny at all. <laughs> See, when I grab the trigger, fuck your boys. See, I'm coming for the diamonds, jewels. I'm riding through with C4 strapped to my backpack, ready to hurt this fool and wait for my curtain call. See, you need to stick to your shit, because you ain't as funny as me, because I first give warnings. Because you want to do a joke, and when it don't work, you want to lean back on the bar, but it's just not there. You Del Boy falling. <laughs> See, don't flop. You're making a big fucking mistake right now Cause I'm one of Don't Flop's best You need to be giving me the big battles I want But don't get stressed I'm only telling you Cause if you don't start putting me up against the hard hitters I'ma have to keep deading off your card fillers And there'll be no Don't Flop left Yeah, yeah quiet You ready? Yeah. 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 Ghost written only fools and horses buzz. What are you trying? That's just more evidence on what you're rubbing, relying. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I thought this battle you were licking shuffle with these bum. That's why you still got a little bit of fluff on your tongue. <laughs> When he's having tea, it's like he's so big he's beef with two pack and fought two complete at that game. Then decided two can was the one that you complete at that game. <laughs> you did three rounds of gay jokes against an openly gay guy while struggling to take your own clothes off at the same time. <laughs> that is the battling. That is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know if that was flirting, but I know it wasn't working. And if I had just come out the closet, that would have reversed it. <laughs> Jay. Just because women don't like you doesn't mean that homosexual men are obliged to. <laughs> Jay, you want to sabotage yourself to lead the journey to the top less? Don't get top less. <laughs> they ain't ready. Less daylight, more Jay heavy. Jay says he's the best up and coming battler out of Don't Flop. 
But after 21 battles, you shouldn't be up and coming. <laughs> after 21 battles, you should have accomplished something. After 21 battles, where's your chance to rep the nation? After 21 battles, where's your best of compilation? This ain't 21 battles. Top, top, top. <laughs> 21 battles. <laughs> She's done more battles than dialect, more battles than old me us. I got bored watching them, but most of them you probably lost. <laughs> so battle anyone. I guess that mindset comes from school. This guy BT, he's in battles the music and anytime he tries to BT, he's done so many battles now that he's tired BT to spend his whole life battling. Diabetes. <laughs> You write your bars and ice with a piping bag on sugar paper. <laughs> so when I say tasty bars, it's because the things of pen are incredible. When you say tasty bars, it's because the pen are incredible. <laughs> See, I'm not sunburned because I spit heat in a paint stage when I lights out. If you got sunburned, you look like one of the bulls on Total Wipeout. <laughs> You are also likeable. <laughs> he gets confused by anything that needs to be read like Kabul when I go in his arms out and I leave him dead like Kabul. Mm. Oh. I said his arms out. <laughs> Harry Baker with the high sleeves. <laughs> well, I bring the heat in the hammers and call me Thor in the high sleeves because I didn't come here to scuff with the veterans. Just came to provide something for Shuffle to reference. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffled his bum, that's why there was something on my tongue, but no, it's a pube because before this I was licking out your mouth. <laughs> now, this round, you're gonna be pretty pissed because I found out your mum's in a wheelchair. But she's a real dude, she ain't a fake disabled because in restaurants they have to take away the chair just to bring the wheelness to the table. See, I'll about anyone, I ain't scared of no one but a gun. No man can ever put me down. So I am like your mum in a way, because she also needs arms to push her around. <laughs> and I know you think your poems are good, but after this they're gonna look whack. Only people who don't get out feel you. So your career right now is like your mum's life, because if you don't put the brakes on, you're gonna go downhill too. <laughs> your mum and DNA's mum are boys. <laughs> Go home after with Harry and top and tail. 
<laughs> Let me tell you something else um, about this G in Leeds. He chat up a tranny, wanted sex and offered peas. We was in the hotel room after, he was saying how he milked the cow. Now we don't even know what this means, but we could see a dutty cum stain on his jeans. It was an awkward situation. Harry was telling us how he preferred guys. Next thing, he's trying to rub his hand up Earth's fire. See, <laughs> see Rome was going nuts. We had to all hold him back and calm the man Cause he was going on like a heavy smoker Cause he wanted to spark the fact <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Oh that's not what I was talking about <laughs> Um, Will Z, Judge, Highbreaker, Big J, um, this one was like Battle of Who's Funniest and because of that I gave the Harry Baker. When Big J tried to like really like go in depth with bars, it doesn't really fit him. He needs to stick to his jokes in my opinion, so for me, um, Harry Baker. Judge, Harry Baker, Big J gave him two ones, Harry Baker. Big J just more consistent. Yeah. Well, yeah, just been watching Big J versus Harry Baker, who was a sick battle man, it made up for what everyone thought it would be. Um, personally though, I just kind of feel like Big J like, was on point actually and he stepped up by bringing bad jokes from yeah, every single round was hard but I just think all around, yeah, Harry Baker just kind of broke him down better, was a bit wittier, do you know what I mean? And just, yeah, he just uh, dealt with it, I think. So yeah, I, I give it give it to Harry Baker in it, but big up. Well, start with outside Sunburn. Uh, yeah, that was one of the funniest battles I've seen in a long, long time, man. I mean, uh, Harry Baker and Big J were fucking jokes, man. The way I scored it is Harry, first two rounds, Big J killed the last round, it was fucking hilarious. I think Harry had some of the craziest little like funny bars that I've heard for a while man and he really did kill the first two. Big J killed it all throughout as well man, it was sick as a classic I think so no fucking you know don't worry about Big J losing but Harry Baker's up to you once so Oh, it's Marlow. Um, I uh, just judged probably one of the hardest battles I've ever had to judge. That was absolutely fucking hilarious from start to finish. Um, I just about edged it 2 1 to Harry Baker uh, just because I thought he was just more consistent with the funny. And like it was a funny battle, like, the, like pretty much start to finish. I like. I was gonna say by the second round I was slightly leaning towards Big J just because like he had sort of like a bit of different content kind of thing um, and uh, Harry was repeating the fat stuff like like a lot but I think it worked out for him in the end and I think he yeah he pulled it off very well and uh, my sides were splitting I don't have my sides anymore. <laughs> Yo, it's Ur uh, back here at Sunburn, hashtag Sunburn at Don't Flop. Please follow us and both the MCs in this battle as usual. It was a fucking great battle. A lot of people wondered why we put that on the card. I'm sure you now understand. It was absolutely brilliant. Please make some noise for that hilarious clash, man. Let's go! Shouts out Harry every time. Shouts out Big J every time. But I'm going to say this on the mic. The winner of that battle unanimously was Harry Baker. Basically, going to come. Shouts out Big J, hashtag Sunburn, let's go! Running up to music classes claiming that he's proper real, carrying a Glock, by which I mean a Glockenspiel. <laughs> you know, it's hard to write bars to pick apart what you look like, because you look like you often change what you look like. 